See how these objects right here snap right into place on the grid? This is a feature in Active Inspire called Snap to Grid. And it's automatically on most objects, but we can check by clicking on it and going into the property browser. We're going to go all the way down to restrictors. And where it says can snap, almost every image is going to be on true. And then where it says snap to, this is what part of the image is going to snap. So this is going to snap on the bottom left corner. And it's going to have the bottom left corner match up with the grid. Now this tangram activity here, I got right from the resource library. But you could do this with any page. So right now I can see that this dollar bill image is set up for can snap and snap to center. And I don't see a grid on this page anywhere. But let's see what happens if I do a right click. A right click right on my page. If I'm sitting at the board, I can click the button on the pen and I can uncheck hide grid. So now I can see the grid on my page. There's some things on top of the grid, um, but let's see what happens if I move my dollar bill. Now it's not snapping anywhere yet, so I'm going to bring up another right click and I'm going to click snap to grid. Now when I move a dollar bill up, it should snap so that the center of the dollar bill lines up with one of the lines here on the grid. This can be a really good resource for aligning objects on your page when you're creating your flowchart. Your grid does not have to be this size. You can create a larger grid so that when things snap to the grid, they line up in maybe three or four columns. Let's take a look at our grid designer. We're going to go up to Edit, and we're going to click on Grid. So here's my thumbnail scale, and here's my default scale. Let's make that bigger, actually. So now you can see I have a much more widely spaced grid. And if I move my dollar bill, it's now going to snap so the center of the dollar bill lines up on one of these lines right here. Thanks so much for watching today's active tip. Check out our website for more information.